Last time on Phoenix Wings, Nell and his friends arrive at Soth Village to search for answers. Although they've learned the origins of the four treasures, a few questions still remain unanswered. With the help of their newfound friends at the Schwartz Manor, Nell retrieved a grimoire, but is now in need of a fairy to translate. Will they find out the truth? Find out in Episode 18, Mysteries of the Treasures. Wow! This place is beautiful! Oh, and the moonflowers are blooming! Stay right there, Iris. I'm gonna take a picture. Smile! We're almost there. Just a little further ahead. Are there any monsters or Aurelius that we need to look out for? Nope. Moonlight Hollow and the Fairy Plains are protected by Fyra's magic barrier. Really? Huh. That would explain why it's so peaceful here. Yep. As long as she's around, we're safe from harm's way. That's good to know. Come on, ladies. We should press on forward before the sun rises. We're right behind you. Hey, Salem? You've been quiet ever since we left Soft Village. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't sound fine to me. Did something happen at Schwartz Manor? Nope. All I did was share some advice to Eliza. If that's all it is, then we won't pry any further. There's the gate! And look, Nell! There's Perry! Hey! Perry! Uh, oh! Elliot, Nell, Salem! It's good to see you again. Hello, Peary. I'm glad to see you're doing well. What brings you all here in Fairy Plains? I could ask you the same thing. Um, Mistress Fyra wanted to gather all the fairies for important news. Important news? We don't know what it is yet, but I hope it can be easily resolved. Oh, are they new friends of yours? Yep. I'd like you to meet my new friends, Iris and Amelia. My, my. Aren't they a little too old for you, Elliot? What are you talking about? I'm too young for them! She's kidding. No need to get all flustered. I know that! And I'm not flustered! Uh-huh. Well, it's nice to meet you, Peary. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too, Iris. Ahem. <clears throat> Elliot, isn't there something you need to tell Peary? Oh, right. Sorry. Peary, we have this grimoire here that we need translated. Can you help us? Yeah, later though. I really have to get going. Let's follow her. Are you sure that's a good idea? It should be fine as long as we don't cause any trouble, right? I mean, Elliot did say travelers are welcome here. Peary didn't sound too excited to see us again, though. Considering how serious this important news is, I would imagine Fyra not in a welcoming mood right now. Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. I'm sorry, I'm just excited to see her again. Don't worry, Elliot. Fortunately, there's another way- No. You don't know what I was going to say! Is it... Oh, let's have Salem transform and eavesdrop the whole conversation and hope he doesn't get caught. I don't talk like that! Uh, how about this? I'll go down myself to see what's going on, and you guys can wait by the hillside. Sure, sounds good to me. I was going to suggest that, but someone interrupted me. Yeah, right. Ow! Yes, Elliot. I think that's a good idea. Talk about whipped. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, wow. This place, it's so beautiful. I can't believe this is my first time here. I'll say, perfect temperature for the weather tonight, the ground is rich, healthy greenery, this is even better than back home. Ooh, and more moonflowers! I must analyze them and study this landmark immediately. Okay, Professor. You can spare us the biology lessons for another time. Oh, please. Like you're not as excited about this as I am. Shh! Keep it down over there! My beloved children. I thank you for coming here on such short notice. Unfortunately, I have some concerning news from the outside world and the status of the three utopias. Dalmist Kingdom, unfortunately, has fallen to the corrupted Aurelius. 
As I speak, they're increasing in numbers and consuming innocent lives at night. We will create a barrier for Ithil village, but it won't be long before the elves have to evacuate. I will also inform both the spirit mediums of Shaolin City and Minerva Village of the situation. That doesn't sound good. I hope everyone at Ithil Village will be okay. Me too. I know Elliot's worried about them the most. Mistress, I will still go to Shaolin City to inform Shaolian about the upcoming danger. Thank you, Lyrica. I imagine with her foresight abilities, she will expect your arrival. Piri, I'd like you to fly to Minerva Village and see if you can make contact with the spirit medium there. M me Yes, you. I understand they've been secluded after nine years ago. But in order to prevent another tragedy happening, we need their power. I understand. I'm honored to be selected for this task, Mistress Fyra. But heed my warning, both of you. The Royal Court of Magi City will stop at nothing to prevent you from reaching out to them. Well, wait a minute! Why would the Royal Court attack the fairies? To prevent the spirit mediums or anyone else from knowing what they're up to. We no longer share any affiliation with the Royal Court after what their leader has done nine years ago. What did they do? They sealed the treasures away to the other planets, making it impossible for the spirit mediums to retrieve as long as their barrier remains at the Tower of Eternity. The Crystallania Empire tried to break through, but they've only destroyed the first layer of the four. So then, we have access to recover a treasure, right? We did, but Rosalia repaired the damage. So now, we're back to square one. What if I tell you that I know people who can help? Fyra, I have this grimoire from the Schwartz family at Soth Village. We need your help to translate this. Why do you have the Grimoire of Ancients? Because... I want to find a way to beat the Aurelius for good. I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. And the Royal Court members are after me and my friends. It's been nine years since I've last seen that Grimoire outside the Schwartz Manor. But that's not important right now. I want to know why the Royal Court is after you. Well, I may have gone to Dalma's kingdom and bumped into them along the way. You what?! I didn't know it was infested with Aurelius! I just found out and then they attacked right afterwards. Thank Artemis you're alright, but Elliot, you could have been killed, or worse. You should have summoned me immediately if you were in mortal danger. I I'm sorry. I just wanted to help out. It's not his fault! Oh, great. <laughs> so much for waiting. Might as well go down there now. State your name, Traveler. I am not in the mood for games. I am Nell of Magi City. I share no affiliations with the Royale Court or the Royal Family. I am also the one responsible for what happened at Ithil Village and Dalmas Kingdom. Hear me out, Mistress Fyra. My two friends and I fell from the sky after an incident happened between us and a fellow classmate. We got separated for a while, and I was given food and shelter at Ithil Village. General Valkro was after me because he was trying to take me back home. I refused because I didn't want to return home without my two friends by my side. Elliot had nothing to do with what's happened lately. He was only trying to protect his people, including us. He saved me from a petrification curse and reunited me with Nell. And he helped me escape from the labyrinth at Caselia Village. Is this all true, Elliot? It is. I know you want what's best for me, but I can take care of myself. I learned how to hunt for my own food, make shelter, befriend people and animals and fight to survive. I'm proud to call them my friends. And you've raised me to be someone who's strong and independent. You must be proud, Mama Fairy. He really is a good kid. Indeed he is. Forgive me for scolding you, Elliot. I just don't want anything to happen to you. And I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. But I couldn't just stand there and watch Elliot take the blame for me. 
though this could have been a more graceful introduction, I'm also willing to let it slide for now. All that matters is that you're all safe. But why are the Royal Court members after you? They were ready to give us severe punishments, and I couldn't allow that to happen to them. No one should suffer the consequences, and I sure as hell don't want to see any more lives lost by the Aurelia Sealer. Please, Fyra, let us help. If we get this grimoire translated, we may even find a way to get the treasures back. I see. Very well, then. If you help us find a way to open the barriers to the Tower of Eternity, we will translate this grimoire for you. Thank you, Fyra. We really appreciate your help. Mind if I sit with you? Not at all. I hope Fyra wasn't too angry with us. It's okay. I told her about what really happened at Dalma's kingdom. She's just happy to hear we made it out safe. She really does care about you. I owe my life to Fyra, and everyone else at Fairy Plains. I know they've been taking care of you since your parents died nine years ago. <laughs> Piri told you, didn't she? She only told me they died when you were very young, and that your sister's still missing to this day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promised Piri I'd mind my own business. No, it's okay. I was only two when the Aurelius attacked Ithil Village nine years ago. I woke up when the war was all over, and I was left alone crying in the Mine Woods. That's when I first met Fyra and Piri. They took me in and nurtured me, along with the animals. I learned about my parents' fate when I was seven, and that Miles was a parting gift from my sister before she disappeared. I still don't know if she was also killed by the Aurelius or not. I've been looking all over Artemis for clues. And you still haven't found anything yet, huh? No. It must be nice to actually remember your parents and spend time with them before it's too late. I'm sorry, Elliot. For what? I shouldn't have gotten you involved in all of this. And now, because of me, the Royal Court is after you too. Don't apologize. I wanted to go with you. We've dealt with them a few times face some Aurelius and survived, but we've also laughed together and met new friends. Sure, it's been rough, but I don't regret being with you guys one bit. Um, is something wrong? Did I say something weird? Listen to me, Elliot. Tomorrow, the Royal Court members will want an answer from us. You have to make a decision for yourself whether you want to stay here or stick with us all the way. What about you? I... Oh, there you are. Come with me right now. You're not going to believe what we just discovered. Did you get the grimoire translated? Sure did. Come on, the others are waiting for us. So, what happened? What does it say? At first, it's information we already know so far. Until we found out something interesting from this page here. It talks about what happened to the four treasures nine years ago. What we know so far is the origins of the treasures passing from generation to generation of spirit mediums. The Aurelius have also been around Artemis for over 50 years. And at the same time, there's a new group of spirit mediums. The rebirth of the Phoenix Esper happens as well. So it's like a never-ending cycle of tragedy and massacre. I never really knew how much pain the spirit mediums go through every day. It must be a nightmare, both physically and mentally. Spirit medium is, indeed, a blessing and a curse. They've always been destined to defeat the Aurelius. But have they really done that? For the last 50 years of our generation, we all thought the past spirit mediums had defeated them. But the truth is, they've only been slowing down the process rather than actually killing them. Also, We've learned that an Aurelius was the first wielder of the Amethyst Orb. Not just an Aurelius. 
first wielder of the Amethyst Orb, was the Phoenix Esper itself. H how do you know that? My dear child, I've lived for over 50 years now. I know everything that's happened to this world. The Amethyst Orb's true form is the Eye of the Phoenix Esper. I've... I've lived my entire life holding an actual eye for a pendant this entire time? Amazing! So then the other three could be the other body parts of the Phoenix Esper too? If the Amethyst Orb is the eye, the trident could be the arms since it's magic. I guess the ruby crown would represent its mind? And the emerald shield is the heart. Correct. This would explain why Sophia tells us to destroy the treasures. They all represent a vital part of the Phoenix Esper. By destroying the treasures, it'll probably weaken or reveal the Phoenix Esper. And if the Phoenix Esper is gone for good... Then we can finally eliminate the Aurelius once and for all. And the spirit mediums will no longer continue this tragic, endless cycle. Exactly! Since each of the four treasures are in four planets, we need this Tower of Eternity to have access in traveling to the other planets. How exactly can we travel to the other worlds? There is a gate in each room of the tower, and the only way to activate it is to supply an enormous amount of magic. Then that means Iris and Salem are qualified for it. Think you can handle it, Iris? I'll do my best! We may even go back to your home planet to get the Emerald Shield, Amelia. If I can get my ship repaired, then I can connect back home and ask them to search for any information on that. Alright! Looks like we have a new goal! Before we continue to discuss this further, I've been meaning to ask, where are Salem and Peary? Salem said he wanted to read some letter he received at Port Seal alone. And Peary left after Fyra gave the letters to her for Minerva Village and Xiaolong City. She told us to take good care of Elliot. I hope she'll be okay. Peary will be fine. We won't let anything happen to her. I'm gonna find Salem. Does he know all of this? Yep. He left right after Amelia went to get you two. Alright, I'll be right back. Hey, is everything alright? Oh, yeah. I'm just reading the letter Vital wrote for me. What does it say? Please be careful. Balto is hunting you down next. And whatever you do, do not let him or the royal court get their hands on the treasures. What will happen if they do? No clue. Vital didn't clarify. Well, we're going to meet with them first thing in the morning at the Tower of Eternity, so I guess we'll find out the hard way. Have you decided what to do yet? I'm going to end this tragic cycle by traveling the worlds and destroy all of the four treasures. Looks like we share the same goal then. Salem... I, too, want to protect those I care for. I couldn't help my sister nine years ago, but I can still protect the world she loved so much. Plus, I'm not gonna let you do this by yourself. And I swear, I'll help you find a way to save Erica. If something's bothering you, promise me you'll come talk to us and ask for our help. You're not alone. We all have to depend on each other. <laughs> All right, I promise. You better, or else I'm gonna beat you up myself. As if you could beat me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Come on, let's head back and get some rest. We've got a long day ahead of us. Yeah. Morning. Hope you all had a good night's rest, because today is the big day. Hey, Mel? Yes, Elliot? I thought about what you said last night, and I've decided to stay with you guys. There's so many things going on. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I meant every word I said last night. I will find a way to defeat the Aurelius. I'm scared, but I'm also more excited than ever. And I promise to grow stronger for everyone's sake. I'm ready to accept the consequences that lie ahead of me. You already know my answer. I want to find a cure for everyone who has that terrible Aurelius disease. And make sure no one will ever suffer again. I have a feeling traveling to the other planets will help me reach that goal. Either way, I'm not planning to go back home without Simon. 
I guess what I'm trying to say is, count me in. It's settled then. We may end up fighting the Royal Court, but we'll find a way to win. Yes, let's fight together for everyone's sake. So where is this Tower of Eternity? Is it close by? As a matter of fact, it is. Just north of Moonlight Hollow Road. Then, let's get going. And be on your guard. Good luck, children of Artemis. And be careful. It sure is huge. So, where do we start? We don't know the location of the Amethyst Orb, but because it's here in Artemis, we can save that for last. It'd be a good idea to start off with the closest planet to Artemis, which is the desert planet of Ares. So we'll be going after the Ruby Crown first. No? What's wrong? We've got company. Hello, darlings. Roselia! We were expecting the rest of the royal court to be here. I wouldn't worry about them right now if I were you. So, what's it gonna be, my lovely guests? Are you going to turn yourselves in? Or are you going to refuse and face the consequences? We're not going back home, Rosalia. We've made our decision, and we're going to fight for everyone's sake. I see. <laughs> completely bonkers, and I thought she was the mature one of the four. <laughs> I was hoping you'd turn yourselves in quietly, but instead, you all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. If fighting you is what it takes to defeat the Aurelius and save everyone, then so be it. I'd like to see you try to get past us. We'll see about that. Let's go! Data Entry 42 We've made a decision and have a clearer goal to destroy the four treasures. And now we're about to deal with the Royal Court. If I come out alive, I'll write another entry from Ares. Next time on Phoenix Wings, Episode 19. Into a world. What would you do if you were in our situation? If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe to Phoenix Wings on iTunes, as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr for continuous updates and upcoming episodes.